The U.S. Navy's MQ-25 Stingray program is taking new steps. According to the U.S. Navy, the MQ-25 will be the world's first operational carrier-based unmanned aircraft and is integral to the future carrier air wing, and that the MQ-25 will provide an area refueling capability that extends the range, operational capability, and lethality of the carrier air wing and carrier strike group. During the Navy's recent deck drills with the MQ-25, the unmanned aerial vehicle completed a series of test points that evaluated the functionality and capability of the deck handling system during both day and nighttime operations. The Navy began deck trials earlier this month. Before that, the experimental prototype MQ-25T1 had successfully tested for the first time in-air refueling. The test flight took place on June 4th and successfully refueled the U.S. Navy's F-18F Super Hornet. The Boeing MQ-25 Stingray is the result of the carrier-based area refueling system program, which grew out of the earlier unmanned carrier launched airborne surveillance and strike program. The first flight was made on September 19, 2019. The MQ Stingray is shaping up to be an important new project for the Navy. Refueling at sea and in the air is crucially vital and allows Navy planes to remain in the air and on station for extended periods of time. Boeing's MQ-25 design is powered by one Rolls-Royce AE-3007N turbofan engine delivering 44 kN of thrust. This is a variant of the engine used to power the Navy's MQ-4C Trident. The aircraft is less stealthy than flying wing UAVs. It does feature a stealthy fuselage shaping, flush inlet to a shield engine blades from radar and V-tail. One of the United States' premier aircraft, the F-35 Lightning II Star Fighter, has sustained criticism, with detractors pointing to the airplane's combat radius as a serious weakness inherent to the plane. That is the gap the Stingray could fill. Earlier this year, an MQ-25 took off an F-35C Lightning II in the air over Illinois, a program first. The Navy explained that they would like the Stingray to eventually be able to refuel all Navy aircraft currently capable of receiving fuel in the air, providing greater operational flexibility. Every test brings the Stingray closer to becoming full mission capable. And once operational, the Stingray will become the world's first unmanned aerial refueling aircraft, a significant advantage for naval aviation. <laughs>